Hello, 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 and welcome back to London. As you can tell from the title above, today we're going to be talking all about the Sunday Rose Dinner. So I've come to Mama Shelter here in London. I actually came here a few months ago for their launch night for the hotel. And today I'm going to try their Sunday All You Can Eat extravaganza, where we're going to have a traditional Sunday Rose with a French twist because Mama Shelter hails from France. Are you excited? Because I know I am, and I'm very hungry, so let's go in. Time to give you a little tour. So starting off here, we have the soup of the day, and today we've got butternut squash and ginger. And then over here, we have an assortment of salads. We also have a vegan and veggie alternative of the roast as well. So you can fill yourself up on here, and then we go over to this station, which is the cold meats and cold cuts. So we've got some smoked salmon, a selection of meats and cheeses. And then further down to this station, we have all of the cooked vegetables. So we've got everything from mixed these potatoes, roast potatoes, root veggies and then coming up to this station mulled wine here we have a selection of beef wellington yorkshire puddings and also some pork belly which you can ask the chef to serve up for you we have this aubergine dish as a vegan alternative to the roasted meats this beef wellington has just freshly come out thank you i can wear it as a hat <laughs> so cauliflower cheese is very very british Roast potatoes, let's go. There's nothing worse than when it's a soggy roast potato. I love how my plate is fully just carbs right now and cheese. <laughs> okay, let's try and get some healthier stuff. Because I do have a lot of like cheese and meat, I'm gonna go for some roasted heritage carrot. It's honestly the best of both worlds. So we've got like the classy elegance of French cuisine mixed in with some really good Sunday firm favourites. Why choose between roast potatoes and smoked salmon when I can have them both? After you're finished with your mains, we move on to the dessert corner. So we have a mix of some French classics and also some traditional English desserts as well. So as you can see, we've got some madeleines here looking very, very fancy and ready to be devoured. We've also got a waffle station of marshmallows, got brownies, got cookies to put over the top. Is this chocolate sauce? This is like just a big tub of chocolate sauce and also my dream, I love custard. So got a little bit of custard here. We've also got some pineapple upside down cake. We've got some trifle, some meringue. Honestly, definitely save room after your roast for some dessert because this looks wonderful. My first plate of food is done. <laughs> I thought today would be a great opportunity to also talk about the traditional Sunday roast dinner, its history, its origins, why we have it on a Sunday traditionally in England. Though it's said that it dates all the way back to when Henry VII was first reigning. That's also where they coined the term beef eaters because him and his guards were known for their love of eating roast beef. But it didn't become a solidified British tradition until the late 19th century when a Victorian chef called William Kitchener first introduced his recipe book and I think it's a best-selling um, recipe book called the cook's oracle he said in 1871 that everybody should eat three kilograms of meat per week two kilograms of bread and a pint of beer every single day and I guess that was their idea of a balanced diet at the time It'd be very very different nowadays if we had that then but they took that as word as gospel so they introduced a lot of roasted meat and bread in the everyday kitchen in England and then the reason why we have it on a Sunday lunch is because people typically for religious reasons they would normally fast on a Friday and only abstain from meat and only have fish hence why we have fish and chips on Fridays and that's still kind of a tradition now so by the time they went to Sundays they normally wouldn't have a big lunch until after service so on the way to church when the bakeries are only shut on a Sunday and open every other day since then people would also often drop off their cold meat in the local bakery's oven because it's free for it to be smoked and cooked and roasted just in time for after the service and then after church they would then collect their roast meat take it home boil some vegetables and then serve it to, as a way to break the fast and to also to have a celebration meal and um, because you are eating meat again after not having it for a few days a typical Sunday dinner would normally be made up of some roast meat so you've got your roast beef your roast lamb your roast chickens uh, even duck sometimes with some vegetables on the side. So you can have some boiled vegetables, roasted vegetables, carrots, parsnips, swede, roast potatoes, and also Yorkshire pudding. 
but a Yorkshire pudding was traditionally actually served with the roast dinner itself. It was actually served as an appetizer loaded up with gravy with the hopes that people would eat that and be so full up that they'll eat less meat so there's more to go around and they could save a lot on like you know the amount of meat that you're eating. So without further ado I'm gonna go tuck into my beef wellington now because it's calling my name. Okay let's go. Now it's time for dessert. So I've gone for some raspberry trifle because I love trifle, a very, very good English dessert. We've got some fruit usually, a thin layer of sponge. Sometimes it's soaked in some cherry or some other kind of wine and some custard and also topped with some whipped cream. And this one's with raspberries as well. So let's dive in. We've also got some French mandolins, uh, blackberry crumble, which is a very, very classic British dessert, and also some shoe pastry and a little bit of custard on the side. Hot to goody dang, I just tried the shoe pastry. It's filled with kind of like a hazelnut cream, so the shoe on the outside is actually. Ooh, as soon as you eat into it, you've got like the bite of the pastry on the outside, and then you're just covered, the whole roof of your mouth is covered with this soft hazelnut. All good. Got Esther here rocking the mama colours with her hair. Yeah. I'm so full, I've eaten so so much, but that was so good. So if you want to come here, it's £35 for all you can eat Sunday roast with a French twist lunch. Great staff, great service, great food. If you are interested, I'll put the links down in the description box. Thank you Mama Shell to London for inviting me to test it out today. Had a great time and now I'm going to waddle back home and get some editing done. I can hold off for dinner for a few hours now. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you did like this video, then consider subscribing for more food, travel and lifestyle videos from this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.